All right, we just finished the array part of, so we had one branch and then array it, polar array it around, now there's six branches. And now I'm done viewing my, you know, this drawing here, this image that we imported. So I'm just gonna delete that to get it out of the way. So this is what we're working with, a nice looking snowflake here. And with a polar array, you can't do anything to it so what we want to do is if you were to select it you would go into the polar array settings and you can't do you can't subtract or add or change anything about it um, because it's still an array so we're going to close the array and we're going to actually explode our array so i'm going to type in explode and this separates the parts. So I'm going to click my array and press enter. So now I have six individual solids. Each of these branches is a 3D solid separate from its, the other ones. And at this point, if you're wanting to add anything, now would be the time to add more stuff. Let's say you wanted to add a, you know, circles. Let's just do that real quick. Say I just wanted to add circles to the end of each one. I'm going to start here and just add a little circle. Now I want to extrude that, and I actually drew it on top. So I'm going to extrude now as a solid. Enter. And I want to have it extrude to this point. So now I have a circle here and I can just copy that to all the different things by arraying that. So I'm going to do the array again. Select this thing here, enter, specify the center point. Whoa, that wasn't quite the center. Let's go back. All right, so I want to do that again. Sure, I have the center of something here. So, in order to make sure that I have the center, I'm actually going to escape out of this. And this is where viewing in 2D wireframe can come in handy. I'm going to actually view in 2D wireframe, so I can view my original circle there. So I want to do the array, click on this new solid that I created, press enter, and find the center, so shift right click, center of the circle. Now I'm going to view again, let's see, escape, shaded with edges, so I added the, another little detail. So this is an array as well, so I have to explode this if I want to join these solids now with my original. So explode this array here, press enter. So now these are each individual circles. The reason I'm showing you that is if you wanted to embellish or add, you, you can pull an array multiple times. And the goal being one solid snowflake when you're done. So all of these parts need to be joined together into one solid. That's the next step. So uh, now that I have, I'm working with all solids and they're all intersecting one another. They're all touching. I'm going to do Surf Sculpt. Press Enter. Now at this point, this is one solid. So before you get to this step, you want to make sure you have it exactly the way you want it to be because you won't be able to undo any of those previous steps. So I can't go in and edit the array. I can't uh, remove the circles. So just make sure you, you have it the way you want it to before you 
uh, surf sculpt it all into one snowflake. All right, so now the next step would be to add a slot in one of these arms so that they can slide into each other. And you want the slot to be narrower than the meat that you have here from side to side. And you want it to extend a little bit past the center so that when they slide together, you know, one can slide completely into the other one. So you want to make a, a measurement from side to side if you're not sure what that dimension is. So you're going to type in distance, D-I-S-T for distance. You do not want the distance measurement. You want the D-I-S-T. We measure from one side to the other. 4.59, so 4.6. And I want to add a little bit on either side. Actually, subtract a little bit more. Hold on. Explain this correctly. So I had 4.6 there, and I want to measure the thickness. Two points on my snowflake here. 3.75. So what I want to do is have um, about a half a millimeter space on either side. So the rectangle that I want to make is going to be 4.25, which is not going to leave very much on either side here, but it will be enough that you know, I'm not going to lose these little branches. So 4.25 is the measurement of rectangle that I want to make. And I'm going to draw it along this line because it's a straight line. And I'm just going to use the line tool to make sure it's in the correct, actually the polyline tool. And I'm just going to draw my rectangle. I want it to be longer than 50 units because that's the length of one of my arms. The length really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do like 100. Now this measurement matters. So this one's the one that's going to be 4.25. Then I'm going to go over in this direction again, 100 and then connect the dot here to close the shape. Now what I want to do is attach the midpoint of this rectangle to the midpoint of the, the original circle that I created. <clears throat> so I could view this from the bottom and see my original circle here. I actually have an end point of my original line. I could also snap to that. So I'm going to move this rectangle into place. So I clicked on the Move tool, select my rectangle, Enter. I'm going to grab it from the midpoint of this line and attach it to the end point of that line. Or I could choose the center, so shift right click, center of my original circle. Now that's the exactly in the middle, and I want to create a little bit of space here so the other snowflake can slide all the way in. So I need to move it this direction a little bit more. So I'm going to click on this rectangle. Whoops. I'll select the object here. And if I had selected one of these individual points, I would actually be moving that point. But I have this little gizmo here that I can grab this red arrow and move it. Actually, that's not moving it. Let's change it. Oh, yeah, it is moving it. Good. So I'm going to move it in this direction, just maybe one millimeter. Let's do two millimeters. So it's slightly past center. Now, if you don't get that little gizmo, you can always use the Move tool. Select your object. 
enter, grab it from anywhere, and then move it over using the dotted green line as a guideline. Just make sure you're moving it straight. I'm going to escape out of that. So now I've placed my rectangle in the right spot. Now I need to extrude it so that I, I can subtract it. So I'm going to go to solid extrude just to make sure it's a solid. Select my rectangle and press enter. It doesn't matter how tall it is, it just needs to cut through my uh, snowflake there. That's plenty big. I'm going to copy these. I'm just going to make a copy in case something goes wrong or I need to use the part again. Specify a base point anywhere. I'm just going to copy it over here. All right, so the next step is subtracting. So I'm going to type in subtract, or if you like to use your buttons, you can go to the solid tab and subtract is right here. And with the subtract, you want to select the object that you want to uh, select from. So this is the object I want to keep. Press enter. And then you want to select the solid that you want to use to subtract from, you know, from your other shape. Press enter. Now you've cut a little slot in here. So this is would be one half of your snowflake. So all you need to do at this point is this would be the half that has no circle to hang it from. So we're going to copy this over. We want to keep this. So we're just going to copy. Specify base point, doesn't really matter. Copy it over here. And this is going to be the one that does have something that we can hang the snowflake from. So to get that, you're going to need to draw a circle and determine where you want to hang it from. So I'm just going to draw a circle up here. Use the circle tool. And let's say, yeah, let's do center radius, that's good. The view from the top. And I want it to be, I'm going to choose a nice round number. So let's say six. Now I need to cut a hole in this. So I'm going to make another circle smaller. We'll start it from the center. And it's going to be a radius of three. So now I need to extrude both of these circles. Same height as my snowflake. That didn't work. Extrude. There we go. And I want to subtract this middle circle from the outer circle. I'll do subtract. Choose the outer circle and then choose the inner circle. And now I have something to hang my snowflake from. I'm going to surf sculpt these together. So I have one solid here. So these are the two halves 
that'll be put together. So the next thing I need to do is make a stand. 